Jesus, how I never let you go. Jesus, you are the lover of my soul. Jesus, I'll, I'll never let you go. Jesus, I pour my love on you. I pour my love on you. Jesus, I pour my love on you. Pour my love on you. Jesus, I pour my love on you. I pour my love on you. My cry always. Oh. Jesus, I pour my love on you. Pour my love on you. Jesus, you love me too much. Oh, too much. Oh, too much. Oh, excess love. Oh. oh. Jesus, you love me too much, oh, too much, oh, too much, oh, excess love, oh, oh, thank you for loving me too much, oh, unconditionally, thank you for loving me too much, oh. Thank you for loving me too much, oh, too much. Thank you for loving me too much, oh. Father, we love you. We thank you for the seventh day. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody died. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, sweet Jesus, sweet Jesus, how wonderful you are. You are brighter than the morning stars. You are fairer, much fairer than the lily that grows by the way. You are precious more precious you are precious more precious you are precious more precious than gold father we love you we tell you say thank you we say thank you lord jesus if you love the lord go ahead and begin to appreciate him go ahead and type i love you jesus Thank you, sweet Jesus. Thank you, merciful Father. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, take all the glory. Take all the glory. Take all the honor. Who is like unto thee, O God? Thank you, Jesus. Master Jesus, we love you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, I want you to know tonight is loaded. Three ministers, one venue, one meeting. I'm telling you, tonight is going to be powerful. Tonight is going to be so powerful. And I believe, God, that the gate of hell shall be shut against you and your family in the mighty name of Jesus. Yesterday, we were so blessed by Dr. Emmanuel Johnson, and I want to say tonight is loaded again. We're going to be continuing those prayers. We pray against the pot of death, the, the gate of death, the instrument of death. I'm telling you, tonight is heavy. We're going to be continuing it, all right? So don't miss tonight. Don't, don't touch the dark. Don't move. Make sure 
The only thing that will make you move is you are writing down the prayer points. Hallelujah. Now, I want you to know, Dr. Abraham, Moses will be here also. Tonight is loaded. I'm telling you the truth. It's loaded. But before they come, now, Dr. Emmanuel, uh, Dr. Emmanuel Johnson is going to be here. Dr. Abraham, Moses will take over from me in the next few minutes. I want to be blessed. I want to pray. Hallelujah. I want to pray also. I need to pray. I need to pray. All right. I want to say God bless you all. Hallelujah. I want us to take a prayer straight up. I want to take a prayer from the book of 1 Corinthians 15, verse 26. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 26. I want us to start with this. 1 Corinthians chapter number 15, verses number 26. Please make sure you are sharing this broadcast. Make sure you are sharing. Make sure you are sharing. 1 Corinthians chapter number 15, verses number 26. 1 Corinthians 15, verses number 26. Oh, thank you, dear Lord Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Oh, can we have it on the screen, please? Invite somebody. Make sure you are sharing. Share at least five times. Share at least five times. The Lord will bless you as you do that. Oh, thank you, dear Lord Jesus. Master Jesus, I love it. All right. Thank you, sir. The Bible said, the last enemy. Underline the last. The last. The last. The last. And we are in the last month. It said, the last enemy that will be destroyed is what? Death. Death is an enemy. Death is an enemy. You can threaten a man with anything, but not with death. The Lord had me to tell us that on this day, let us deal with the last enemy. Somebody type, I will deal with the last enemy tonight. Type it. I will deal with the last enemy tonight. Please type this prophetic word. Say, I will deal with the last enemy tonight in the place of prayer. Make sure you type it in the place of prayer. Say, I will deal with the last enemy tonight in the place of prayer. Now, don't forget the Bible said in the book of John chapter number 10, verse 10, it said the thief came to kill, to steal, and to destroy. He came to steal, he came to kill, he came to destroy. So that is also solar assignment. And when these three things are in play, the end result is death. That was why when Jesus was around, they wanted to use death to threaten him. How? Even his friend Lazarus, when he died, if you read John chapter number 10, if you read from chapter 11 again, John chapter 10, read chapter 11, you get to understand that he did not die a natural death. Because how come in chapter 11, Jesus brought him back to life? In chapter, sorry, chapter 10, Jesus brought him back to life. In chapter 11, they wanted to kill him again. So there was a conspiracy going on. But can we deal with the last enemy? The Bible said the last enemy is what? Death. The first enemy is not your neighbor. The first enemy, sorry, the last enemy is not your neighbor. The last enemy is not uh, your, your father, your mother, your uncle, your auntie. The last enemy is dead. That's why at the end result of wickedness is death. So can we deal with the last enemy in the place of prayer? So what is the first prayer point? Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I receive grace to pray this night. Somebody say, I receive grace to pray this night. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I receive grace to pray this night. I receive grace to pray this night. Go ahead and type it and pray. Say, I receive grace to pray this night. I receive grace to pray this night. I receive grace to pray this night. I receive the grace of God to pray this night. 
I receive grace to pray this night. Uh. I receive grace to pray this night. Uh. I receive the garment of prayer tonight. Uh. I receive the baptism of prayer tonight. Uh. I receive grace to pray. Uh. I will not sleep. Uh. I receive grace to pray. Uh. I receive grace to pray. Uh. The oil for prayer fall upon me. Uh. I receive grace to pray. Uh. I receive grace to pray. Uh. Please pray that prayer because I've come to discover the devil comes against people when they are ready to pray. That's when the spirit of sleep will begin to blow you the wind of sleep. I pray for someone tonight. The wind of sleep will not blow to your body. The wind of sleep will not blow to your life. The wind of sleep will not blow to you. Say, my father, my father, I receive the grace to pray tonight. Rabba de pale kosho brake la badanosa in de beto paya de meka paradosh shada da 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 kapela balo balaza brako paya. I receive grace to pray tonight. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Now we are going to dictate that prayer now. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, enemy of death. Anamako balikabra. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Lord said we should pray like this. Oh, my enemy called death. You are going to type it and pray it. Say, oh, my enemy called death. You will not take my life. And the life of my loved ones. Open your mouth and turn it to prayer. Oh, my enemy called death. You will not take my life. You will not take my family. You will not take my genuine loved ones. Oh, my enemy called death. Barre poco shabrate. Bile con de fale bracata. Barre bo so pila taba. Doba, 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 doba. Rika. Pale Brokoa, Yata Taka, oh my enemy called dead. You will not take my life in this last month. Oh my enemy called dead. You will not take the life of my children. You will not take the life of my wife. You will not take the life of my husband. Oh my enemy called dead. Lika Pele Bosso Prada. Okay, till now, when we watch the film, we we'll always go for the last fight. The actor gets aggressive at the last fight. The last fight. Everybody is very interested about the last fight. Most times there are some movies you just need to forward it, forward it, so that you can see the last fight. You are going to pray. Father, give me victory over death this month. Hi. Please pray. Can I tell you something? I've said it here before. Do you want your battles to end? Please, I'll need somebody to give me a feedback quickly. Do you want your battles to end? Give me, a, give me a feedback. Do you want your battles to end? Can I get like five people give me a feedback? Do you want your battles to end? Do you want your battles to end? 
Okay, I see Anna Benedict. I say yes, sir. All right. Can I get on that person again? Oh, Adasa Brown, say yes, sir. Um, Ise Chiamaka, say yes, sir. Olua Shei, say yes, sir. Um, Sorom Tochiku, say yes, sir. Is that all I can get? All right. You want your battles to end, right? All right. It will not end. Your battles will not end. Patience. Okay. Um, oh, even uh, Frank. So everybody say yes. So I'm I'm sorry to disappoint you. Your battles will not end. If you want your battles to end, die. Hard truth. Sad truth. Your battles cannot end. But let me give you a good news. That no matter the battle, it will not overcome you. Every time you wake up, you wake up with this mentality, wake up with a battle mentality. There is a mantle for the battle. Your battles cannot end. Just like how people say problems don't end. If you want to be great, get ready for battle. If you want to enter the next level, get ready for battle. So battles are part of greatness. So if you want your battles to end, die. That's the truth. I'm not coming to here to pet you. I'll tell you the truth. Battles don't end. The day your battle ends is the day you die. But as long as you have business with life, you will keep fighting battles. Enemies don't give up. Unless you make them give up in the place of prayer. Battles don't end. Can we take this prayer now? But one thing is sure that I'm, we are going to pray about concerning battles. God will always give you the victory. We serve a God that fights a battle and gives us the victory. Hallelujah. We are going to take this prayer while we bring up Dr. Abraham Moses. Because we want to try and keep the time today so that we can maximize the time tonight. Are you ready to pray? Say, my father, my father. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, give me victory over the battle of death. Give me victory over death. I mean to say here. Give me victory over death. Give me victory over death. Oh, put your mouth and turn into prayer. Oh, Lord, give me victory over death. My father, my father. Oh, give me victory over the spirit of death. Oh, Lord, give me victory over the spirit of death. The Bible says in the book of First First um, First uh, Corinthians fifteen, First Corinthians fifteen. Uh, I think verse is number 55. First Corinthians 15, verse 55. He said, Oh, dead, where is thy sting? Oh, grave, where is thy victory? That means anytime someone dies, victory is given to that thing that took the person's life. Look at it, look at it. He said, Oh, dead, where is thy sting? Oh, Hades, that's grave. Where is the victory? So anytime your loved one dies, the grave just got the victory. That is why I want you to pray tonight. Say, you spirit of death, you may not take the victory over me this year, 2022. You spirit of death, you may not have the victory. Somebody open your mouth and pray. You spirit of death, you will not have the victory over me this year. I refuse to die. Somebody pray. Rapoto bakata bayata. 
messengers of death, you will not come to my dwelling. Somebody pray that prayer. Messengers of death, you will not come to my dwelling. Messengers of death, you will not branch my home. Messengers of death, you will not come into my home. Somebody type it. Say messengers of death, you will not enter my home. Messengers of death, you will not enter my family. Messengers of death, you will not take my daughter. Messengers of death, you will not take my son. Messengers of death, you will not take my husband. Messengers of death, you will not take my wife. Somebody pray. Every messenger of death, you will not enter my home. Messengers of death, you will not enter my family. Somebody pray. I shut the gate of death that the messenger of death may not enter. Monomica briga da briga da briga da briga robo copa leba ite da 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 ma copa rema capila prasusa de polo ba camele boa raba camele proco e pare coma ne mo copa cata e come cule sira e dupre capela taia somebody pray I will not answer the messengers of death messengers of death. Carry death about in this month of December. I reject it. I refuse it. I will not take the message of death. Somebody pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Do we have a brown Moses there now, please? Thank you, my father. If it's not there, so let us. Take one more prayer, please. Abraham Moses, I know you're watching. Okay, is there. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. The Bible said in Jeremiah 9.21. Jeremiah 9.21. Jeremiah 9.21. God bless you, Dr. Abraham Moses. Thank you, sir. God bless you. May God honor you, sir. May God honor you. Tonight, I have doctors all around me today. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jeremiah. All right, let's see it. Jeremiah 9, 21. Now, I told you, John 10, 10, the Bible said the thief came to what? To steal, to kill, and destroy. Now, that is the assignment of the devil. Now, I've told, I've said it to us, that the last enemy is death. Now, look at how it comes into people's home. Look at how it comes. Look at the Bible said, Jeremiah 9, 21. It said, for death has come through our windows. Now, thieves are the ones that come through windows. They don't come through the door. If they are coming through the door, they have to break down the door. I am a cobra, yeah. He said, for death has come through the window. You are going to pray. Every spirit of death looking for entrance into my home. Please type this one. Every spirit of death looking for entrance into my home. Blood of Jesus collide with the spirit of death. Blood of Jesus collide with the spirit of death. Blood of Jesus collide with the spirit of death. Oh, put your mouth and turn it to prayer. You spirit of death, you will not enter my home. You will not enter my home. You will not enter my home. Collide with the blood of Jesus. Collide with the blood of Jesus. Encounter the blood of Jesus. Meet with the blood of Jesus. Makopali pregila rosaria taba bunda badumba gabila ropelake topra dukesia tometo brakatila barata. In the name of Jesus. I prophesy the spirit of death will not get entrance into your home. Somebody type it, the spirit of death, 
you will not gain entrance into my home. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Now, let me say this to you. When someone dies in the house, it was a spirit of death that came into the window, that came through the gate and passed through the window. Yesterday, Dr. Manon, uh, Manon, John, uh, Manon Johns talked about the gate of death. So when the gate is open, they cannot pass through the window. I pray for somebody. This month will not take your life. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. All right, let's welcome Pastor Dr. Abraham Moses. Is the bishop of all you need is the word. God has been using this man. He has ministered with us, I think it is several nights. And thank you for always being available for us, uh, Dr. Abraham Moses. Thank you so much. And I believe in the next few minutes, God is going to be using you to bless us. And we are ready to be blessed. Welcome once again, sir. God bless you, sir. Thank you, man of God. God bless you. Good evening, everybody. Good morning. Good afternoon, depending on the continent you are watching from. It is well with you. Let's go straight to the business of the day, shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, ancient of days, glorify yourself. Do what you and you alone can do. Let your people be blessed. Let life be transformed. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Tonight we are going to deal, we are going to be dealing more on death. Thank you so much, Pastor Dr. Emmanuel Johnson. I was enjoying those powerful scriptures, those powerful prayer points yesterday. I know that tonight is going to be great. I was jotting it down. I was praying along with it. And I know that tonight, death shall be defeated in the name of Jesus. Let me start on this note. The Bible says in Romans chapter 8, from verse 1. Romans chapter 8 from verse 1. If you are with your Bible, quickly open to Romans chapter 8 verse 1. It says, there is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. It says, for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set us free from the law of sin and death. That means sin has a law. Death also has a law. Romans chapter 8 from verse 1. It says, There is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. It says, For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set us free from the law of sin and death. That means sin too is a, is a law. Death too has a law. The Bible says, He that his name is not found written in the book of life is cast, was cast into the lake of fire. It says, For the wages of sin sin is death. For the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Hear me, one thing is certain and is constant in life, and that is death. But I want to assure you in the name of Jesus Christ, you will not die before your time. In the mighty name of Jesus. I am somebody, hear me, that should be about 32 years ago. I was once dead. I did not faint. I was once dead. I died. And God brought me back to life the second day. So when I'm preaching, I am not preaching because my name is Abraham. I am not preaching the gospel because I was born into a Christian family. I am not preaching the gospel because I see people preaching. I am not preaching because I'm looking for money. I am preaching the word of God because I have an encounter with God. God called me. He sent me. In Nigeria, we called him a Roman shepherd. That means the one that sent me and see back to you. He's here with me tonight. He says, so I am put my word in your mouth. As you say, I will confirm it. He confirmed the words of his father and perform the counsel of his messenger. Hear me? I am not preaching because I am looking for money. I am not preaching because I see people preaching. I am not preaching because I want to be like someone. I don't want to be like anybody. I want to be like myself. I want to be myself. I want to be in the image of God. I am preaching because I have an encounter with God. 32 years ago, to be precise. 34 years ago now, to be precise. I was young. That's a story for another day. I died in the morning. I was still in school then. I died. I did not faint. There is a difference between somebody that fainted and somebody that died. I passed on. My parents have given up on me. They said it's only fun. I passed on around 11 a.m. And they took me to the hospital before they, there is something in the hospital called BID, brought in dead. I was brought in dead, and the doctor said there is nothing they can do. They have given up on them. 
about me. But something happened. My elder sister, she was the only born again in our family. She said she was a nurse. And to the glory of God, the doctor too, that the hospital they took me to, we was also a pastor. My sister told the doctor, he said, my brother cannot die. This is not what God, God did not tell me that my brother would die. He did not tell me that any of my family would die. My sister said, this one will not die. And he joined faith with the doctor. She was working in another hospital, but when she hired my pastor, she left her working place, she came to the office where I was, and she started praying. Hear me, if there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer her. She started praying. She held hand with that doctor. The Bible says, iron sharpness, iron. If two shall agree on touching a thing, it shall be done to them by my father in heaven. They started praying. I died around 10 a.m. in the morning. I think I was in primary school then, 34 years ago. I was in primary school then. I was, I, I was just, it was during that break time, and I passed on. Around, it was break time, and I, I cannot forget, around 11 a.m. And they rushed me to the hospital. I, I was dead, brought in dead. Medical town, PID. I was brought in dead to the hospital, lifeless. And they started passing us to the that was there. I did not know anything that happened. It was around 12 a.m., 12 a.m., 12 p.m., the second day that I came back to the, I just sneezed. I just sneezed. And the news went abroad. They went to call my parents. They said, your son is alive. Hear me? The first thing I asked was, they should give me food. How did I know that the journey from heaven to earth is not a small journey? God told Elijah, Elijah said, God, Jezebel was stretching Elijah. And Elijah said, God, take my life. And God told him, says, eat, for the journey is far. How did I know that the journey from heaven to earth is far? When I came back to life, I asked them to give me food. Hear me? They brought a bowl of rice for me. I finished it. I was still asking for what. But that is not where I'm going. Where I am going is the, is, is, the law says not is the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set you free from the sin of from the law of sin and death. Hear me? God is going to deliver somebody tonight. As you are watching me, God is going to deliver you from that. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mother of God, I have I have escaped death. More than seven times this year. I have escaped death more than seven times this year. Hear me? Nobody can take your life. Nobody, nobody can take your life. And some say, simply devoted to you, God. I lay down my life before you. The life I now live is not I but you. For me to live is you. Paul says, for me to live is right and to die is gain. Hear me? God has been so faithful to me. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set me free from the law of sin and death. I said earlier on, I have escaped death more than seven times this year. The last one that happened was just this last month. I was driving in the night, and a trailer full of tanker, tanker full of, full, full of petrol was coming with full speed. I was about to cross on the other side, and the thing was just coming from feet. that I was facing death. I was, I was inside the vehicle with three of my family members at my back. And the bed, the trailer was facing face to face. The only thing I was hearing was saying, Jesus, Jesus, hear me. If I tell you I know how I escape, I am telling you lie. How I managed to escape death that night, I cannot explain it. I cannot pattern it. What I know was that when the, the vehicle, oh my God, God is faithful. You've been faithful, God, from the ages back. That is why your name is forever more. You've been faithful, God, hey, from the ages back, from the ages back. That is why your name is forever more. I was happy. I was driving on the highway with three of my family members in the back. I was driving on the front, and the three of them sat at the back. I was about to cross to the other side of the highway, and this tanker with full fuel was coming with full speed. I don't know what happened. I cannot explain how God did it. All I know is that when the vehicle got to my front, the vehicle just marched bridge. People were shouting, Jesus, Jesus. 
and I escape. Hear me. The Bible says in Psalm 124 verse 7. In Psalm 124 verse 7, it says, Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the father. It says the snare is broken and we are escaped. Psalm 124 verse 7. Our soul is escaped out of the bed uh, as a snare from the bed snare of the father. It says the snare is broken and we are escaped. I want to pass a decree into your life. You will escape from that death. You are escaping death in the name of Jesus Christ. Psalm 124 verse 7. Psalm 124 verse 7. It says our soul is escaped as a bird out of the fallout. It says the snare is broken and we are escaped. I decree your total escape tonight. I said no man can take your life. No devil can take your life. Nothing will take the life of your wife. Nothing will take the life of your son. Nothing will take the life of your daughter. Nothing we take the life of your loved one in the name of Jesus Christ. Yet death is not permitted in your land. If Bible says with one life, it will satisfy me and show me your salvation. Every spirit of death has made of appointed unto them today in the name of Jesus. I cancel it in the name of Jesus Christ. I cancel it in the name of Jesus Christ. I cancel that death in the name of Jesus. Christ. You shall not die. You will live to declare the glory of God. How did I get to know? Psalm 118, verse 13. How did I get to know him? The Bible says in Psalm 118, verse 13, David was talking about Saul that wanted to throw down at him. Psalm 118, verse 13, he says, Thou hast thrust Saul at me that I might fall, but the Lord help me. Hey, Psalm 118, verse 13, Thou hast thrust Saul at me that I might fall, but the Lord help me. Man of God, if you can remember some time, there was a time I had a dream. <laughs> Ambassador, if you can hear me, if you can remember the time I called you, I had a dream and I saw my body in that dream. I saw my body leaving my soul, leaving my body. And I saw something like a, they were doing a square keeping. And I saw my enemy there. And I said to them, I said, I, have, I, said, I am alive. I am alive. And I woke up. <laughs> I started praying. I could remember that night. I called Ambassador at midnight. I called him, I called some of my minister's friend. I said, this is what I saw. I called my father and the Lord. And we started praying. And don't call Pascal. Hear me, when you see negative things, don't, don't stop praying. I started praying. I did not keep quiet. I called them. I knew that iron sharp with iron. I called him, I called my, my pastor friend, and I called my spiritual father and the Lord. And they started praying. And my father, the Lord, was going to open my eye to this scripture. Psalm 118, verse 13. Thou hast thrust soul at me, that I might fall, but the Lord help me. Isaiah chapter 50, verse 7. He says, The Lord God will help me. Therefore shall I not be confounded. Therefore I have set my face as in the place, and I know that I shall not be ashamed. I speak into your heart in the name of Yeshua Messiah. You will not be ashamed. I say you will not be ashamed. I say you will not be ashamed. I say you will not be ashamed. You will not see death. In Papa Papa, the Bible says about Enoch. The Bible says, hey, they, they were mentioning the genealogy of others. When they got to this one, this one gave birth to this and he died. This one gave birth to this and he died. But when he got to Enoch, the Bible says, and Enoch walked with God and he was not. And Enoch walked with God, he was not. What was the Bible say? Enoch walked with God, he did not die. God took him. <laughs> that is transition. He did not die. God took him. Oh my God. Hear me. There are some people that do not see death. There are some people that will not see death. That is a lot of just a death. Enoch walked with God. How did that, he walk with God, but he was not? I saw myself in my body was leaving me. And I said, hey, this is not ordinary. I started praying. I never knew that they, they have problem accident for me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, a close mouth is a close destiny. If there's a man to pray, there's a God to answer. If my people, seven forty four seven fourteen. If my people that call my name shall open themselves and pray and seek my face and talk about the wicked ways, he said, then I will hear from heaven. I will forgive their sin and I will give their land. Healing and children. If my people, who are the people of God, is talking about you, he's talking about me. You are kept by too much. 
They kill your father, you get quiet. They kill your mother, you get quiet. They take some of your money, you get quiet. Hear me? If you keep quiet, they will soon take you. If that is why you have to pay right from the days of God the Baptist in now. The kingdom of heaven so many them and the violent take their fall. Today I cancel appointment with death in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, every appointment of death, as soon as I've been appointed to death, I cancel it to die. In the name of Jesus Christ. Psalm 118, thou hast thrust so at me that I may fall. But the Lord help me. Psalm 118, verse 17. Verse 8, 17. It says, I shall not die. Hear me? Can you type and say, I shall not die? Put your name there. Put it on the comment section. I, Pastor Dr. Abraham Moses, I shall not die. I will live to declare the glory of God. Type your name there. I don't know your name. If you can type my name, type my name for me. Type your name there. Say, I, Pastor Dr. Abraham Moses, I shall not die. I will live to declare the glory of God. I shall not die. If you can type it, it will happen to you. If you can say it, it will happen to you. Nobody is permitted to die in your family. No good thing will die in your heart. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me, let me share this testimony. There was a time of the hour on Sunday morning. After service, I do not to go and rest. I just saw noise. People will be pastor, pastor, pastor. And lo and behold, they brought the boy, a young boy, the boy pastor. The woman, you are pastor, pastor. He now dropped the boy in my hand. I said, God, what is all this? <laughs> this should be a temptation. I just finished closing from church. And another couple, and they just came. They brought a dead boy. The woman was like, pastor, pastor. And they brought the baby to my hand. I, I started praying, Shakato. Lord, you said nothing good will die in my heart. You said I shall raise up the dead. I started decreeing the word of God. The only thing that God honors is the word of His heart. He confirmed the words of His servant and perform the counsel of His messenger. I started giving God back His word. He honors His word more than His name. He honored oh God. I started giving God his word. He says, My word will not return to me for it. It is a the power that I have sent him and you prosper in that which I sent him. I start I crook the boy in my hand. I started praying. I call asking, Father, you that raised Lazarus from the dead, raise this boy up. Let him come back to life. Let me not be ashamed. The Bible says, Let unto thee, oh God, you are little my soul. Oh my God, I trust in you. Let me not be ashamed. I speak to your life wherever you are watching me from. You shall not be ashamed. I decree you shall not be ashamed. I prophesy you shall not be ashamed. Your wife, your husband, your children, your sons, your daughter, in your business, you will not see shame. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says, Wherefore should the healer say, Their God has found a great for them? I started praying, Father, bring this boy back to life. Let your name be glorified. It was not up to five minutes after praying. I just saw the young boy sleep. And he came back to life. And I said, God, I thank you. God, I thank you. You told me that nothing could be in my hand. And God confirmed his word. Jeremy, three months later, <laughs> three months later, three or four months later, another thing happened in that environment where I was. A boy, a, 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 a baby of how many months old was sick and they brought the baby to me. Pastor, pastor, pastor. Oh God. They brought the baby. The baby was lifeless. I started praying. I started compassion. Maduka Patera. Father, hear me. Father, bring her back to life. Can I surprise you? The baby died. The first one was alive. The second one died. And I said, God, you said nothing could be died by hand. He said to me, son, I permitted it. And I said, shock you. There are some things that happened in your life that God permitted. There is something we call permissive will of God. There are things that happened to you. Then Solomon fasted. Yes. The boy died. Excuse me. David fasted. Yes. The son died. What am I trying to say? For the father, somebody died does not change anything about God. 
God is God all by himself. Psalm 118 verse 17, I shall not die, but live to declare the glory of God. Psalm 118 verse 18, he said, the Lord has chastened me so. The Psalm 118 verse 18, the Lord has chastened me so, but he has not given me over unto death. The Lord has chastened me so, but he has not given me over unto death. I'm going to take one more scripture, then I will wrap it up and hand it up to hand it up to none of Tonight, the yoke of death in your life is destroyed. In the name of Jesus, Marco Pascata. The Bible says in Numbers chapter 16, I'm going to summarize it. Numbers chapter 16 from verse 28 to 35 about the sons of Korah. Anyone that wants to mock you, the almighty God, I decree that the ground be open and swallow them. Numbers chapter 16 from verse 28 to 35. The sons of Korah, the sons of Korah, they, 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 they gang up against Moses. They said, are you the only one that God is using? And Moses told them, he said, if they die or shall be dead, they will not have God sent him. He said, if this will happen, they will not have God sent him. And he said, the ground should open. And the ground opened and swallowed them. I want to pass a decree to your life. In the name that is above by your name, and the work planning your downfall. I speak as an oracle of God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The same way the ground open and swallow the sons of God. Let the ground open and swallow them. 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 And the ones that wish you dead are copper cattle. Yet copper scotia and the catalagia. The copper catia. Yet copper scotia and the copper. And the one that wants you down, they will go down for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, hear me. They gone fell before the act of God. They gone fell before the act of God. And the power that wants to confront you, in the name of Jesus Christ, the same way they gone fell, they will fall and crumble. The Bible says that no weapon comes against you shall prosper. Every tongue that shall rise up against you shall be condemned. This is the heritage. <laughs> Of the servant of the Lord and the righteousness of me, see the Lord of God. Anyone that has been appointed to them tonight in the name of Jesus, I destroy it in the name of Jesus. I am nearly 15. I am nearly 15. I am nearly 15. There is so much the 15th of this month is your birthday. The 15th of this month is your birthday, and they have marked that date that they are going to take you. I agree with God's servant in this house. I don't know whose birthday is 15th of this December. They have marked the person. They said, on oh, it's our birthday. On the 15th, we are taking you, my I stand as a servant of God in the name that is above your name. Every appointment of death that they have marked for your birthday, today in the name of Jesus, I cancel it. I cancel it. I cancel it. I cancel it. I cancel that death in the mighty name of Jesus. Christ. And the one from your downfall, they will fall for you. For no weapon from against me shall prosper. Every tongue that rises up against me shall be condemned. This is the heritage of the Son of God. And the righteousness is of me. Say the Lord of God. Every appointment with death in your mind. Tonight, in the name of Jesus, Christ, I cancel it. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says, says, whoever the son of man shall set free, is free indeed. Therefore tonight, I announce your total freedom. I announce your total freedom. Death is cancelled from your life. Death is cancelled from your family. Death is cancelled from your lineage. No more death shall allow. No more death allow. The man of God was talking about part of death yesterday. He was talking about the part of death yesterday. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Every pot, whatever they are prepared as a pot for your death today, I cancel it in the name of Jesus. I cancel it in the name of Jesus. I set you free. I set you free. I set you free. I set you free. Set you, free. Set you, free. you will not die, but you will live to declare the glory of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. No more death. <laughs> no more death. The Bible says Christ has redeemed us. Galatians chapter 3, verse 13 and 14. Galatians chapter 3, verse 13 and 14. It says Christ has redeemed us from the cause of the law. Be made a cause unto us. It is written, Cause is he that hung on the tree, that the blessing of Abraham might be unto the Gentile. Every symptoms of death, every irony of death, every mark of death in your life. So 
night it is cancelled. Jesus told Lazarus in John 11, he says, lose him and let him go. Tonight, I set you loose. I release you from the chain of death. You are set free now from the crown of the frail of your head to the sole of your feet in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It is where with you are. God bless every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. Man of God, over to you. God Hallelujah. God bless you, Dr. Abraham Moses. Please just stay tuned because we're going to run this up together after Dr. Emmanuel Johnson is done. Now, I want you to say this. Type it, everybody. Type this word. It's a prophetic word. It's for a, it's for a sister, actually. This prophetic word. But I want everybody to type it while I bring Dr. Abraham, um, Dr. Uh, Emmanuel Johnson on board. Le uh, sorry, Leviticus 16.21. Leviticus 16.21. Somebody say, I am not a scapegoat. Type it, I am not a scapegoat. Le Leviticus 16.21. The Bible talked about how the Mos Moses will lay hand on a goat and he will pour all the sins of Israel upon the goat and it shall be called a scapegoat a scapegoat can i have the king james version i am not a scapegoat 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 the bible said they shall lay hands on the goat they shall lay hands on the goat and fit men fit men that means strong men that we carry the goat into the wilderness because why the goat is the Scapegoat. There are some of you, the Lord said, the problems of the family is upon you. The whole problem of the family is upon you. They have made you a family scapegoat. But tonight, you are free by fire. 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 Hear the name of Jesus. God will give you victory over death. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. With Jesus' joy, I bring up Pastor Dr. Emmanuel Johnson. God bless you, sir. Over to Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory be to God. Wow, I'm already blessed. I've been at the backstage watching since, and I'm already blessed. Thank you so much, Dr. Abraham Moses. I've been highly blessed by your ministration. And I want to also appreciate the set man of this house, uh, Ambassador Dr. Fred Ubozwa. Thank you so much. God bless you for bringing me again today. It's a privilege that I appreciate and to never be taken for granted. And also, I appreciate your lovely wife. Thank you so much, Ma. Ambassador Rookie, God bless you for all that you are doing for God's kingdom and for the huge support you are giving to my brother, God bless you, real good in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Uh, we have been on a very high tempo in tonight because God always reserves the best towards the end. So I believe that today is greater than yesterday and from day one. You know, the Bible said, God said to uh, Elijah, he said, the one that escaped the sword of Azael. He said, go and anoint Elisha, Jehu, and Azael. He said, the one that escaped the sword of Elisha, Jehu will slay. The one that escaped the sword of Jehu, Azael shall slay. So thank God because tonight is three in one. So you are getting a triple anointing and your enemies are going to get a triple judgment in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Without wasting so much time, I would like to go into what we have today. Today shall be a conclusion of what we started yesterday. But just before then, the Holy Ghost gave me some prayer points which I trust God that we need to pray right now and make sure you declare it and make sure you also type it out because your declaration is in your typing. While you are saying it with the words of your mouth, you also say it with your finger. You know, the Bible said that in the mouth of two, the truth shall be established. So you have said it with your mouth and also you are saying it with your hands. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, whatever you are going to declare tonight shall be established in the precious name of Jesus Christ. You are going to make this declaration. It's a declaration. Say, I declare, I shall not die, but live 
to declare the works of the Lord. I shall not die, but live to declare the works of the Lord. Rabake Skeliavada. Everyone under the sound of my voice, I decree and declare, you shall not die, but you will live to declare the works of the Lord in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Also, we are going to decree and declare every arrow of slow death sent into my body, return back to the center. Arrow of slow death, slow death. There are people that are, they are no longer alive, but they are dying slowly. Arrow of slow death sent into my body, back to the sender in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Arrow of slow death, arrow of slow death sent into my body, return back to the sender in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Arrow of slow death sent into my body, return back to the sender in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare everyone under the sound of my voice. Every arrow of slow death sent into your body is returned back to the sender in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Is returned back to the sender in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are going to make the third declaration. Every weapon of death fashioned against me and my loved ones return back to the sender. Weapon of death fashioned against me and my loved ones return back to the sender. Weapon of death fashioned against me and my loved ones return back to the sender in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy everyone under the sound of my voice. Every arrow of death sent against you and your loved ones return back to the sender in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Declaration number four. Any human agent of darkness planning to poison me, eat your poison in the name of Jesus Christ. Every human agent of darkness, any agent of darkness planning to poison me, poison yourself in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every human agent trying to poison me and my loved ones, poison yourself in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every human agent trying to poison me, poison yourself in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Declaration number five now. Every power jingling the bell of death, Rabba Kapo Shakatalama. Every power jingling the, 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 the bell of death, Kill yourself in the name of Jesus Christ. Every power jingling the bell of, bell of, uh, the, the bell of death around me. Kill yourself in the name of Jesus Christ. Every power jingling the bell of death around me. Kill yourself in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every power jingling the bell of death around me. Kill yourself in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Declaration number six. Government of sudden death. I am not a victim, catch fire. Government of sudden death. I am not a victim, catch fire. I prophesy to everyone under the sound of my voice. Sound of my voice. Every government of sudden death. Ikebe, lirusa garabaka shagatalaba. Let that garment catch fire. Every garment of sudden death. Catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Declaration number seven. Eaters of flesh, drinkers of blood, I am not a victim. Eat yourself in the name of Jesus Christ. Eaters of flesh, drinkers of blood, eat yourself in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Eaters of flesh, drinkers of blood, I am not your candidate. Eat yourself in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord showed me a vision while I was praying about tonight's meeting, and He showed me graveyard, and I saw demons coming out of graveyard. You graveyard spirit, you graveyard spirit, myself and my loved ones, we are not your candidate. Perish in the name of Jesus Christ, you graveyard spirit. Myself and my loved ones, we are not your candidates. Perish in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord spoke to me and he said, when I was praying, he said, every spirit of money and sorrow, Every spirit of money and sorrow fashioned against me, return back to the sender. You know, there are some people, you might not die, but someone close to you might die. 
That is the spirit of money and sorrow. Your spirit of money and sorrow. I am not a candidate. Return back to the sender in the mighty name of Jesus. Return back to the sender in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Return back to the sender in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Makele proko tu begalegele. Le fratish la brakate kelikete. You spirit of money and sorrow. Return back to the sender in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Return back to the sender in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I saw the Lord open my hands when I was praying for this meeting, and I saw different coffins, different coffins. You are going to pray. You casket of death. I am not your candidate. Return back to your owner. Return back to your manufacturer. You casket of death. I am not your candidate. Return back to your manufacturer. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You casket of death. I am not your candidate. Return back to your manufacturer. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are going to make this declaration. I don't know what number we are now. I'm just speaking there because there are many. Every evil pattern of death in my family line. Karabaka Shakatalaba. I am not a candidate. Expire in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil pattern of death. I am not your candidate. Expire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every evil pattern of death. Expire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Expire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every evil makeleke sukele bregede kalakatalaba. In gregedo subragada bakakuria masundele bregede. Every evil pattern of death in my family life, I am not your candidate. Aspire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are going to make this declaration. Blood of Jesus, separate me from the world, 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 W-O-R-L-D. From the world of death in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Karaba. Blood of Jesus. Separate me from the world of death. World, the old world. World of death in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I don't belong to the world of death. My family does not belong to the world of death. My children does not belong to the world of death. By the blood of Jesus, I separate me. I separate my loved ones. I separate my husband. I separate my wife. I separate my children from the world of death in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. From the world world of the dead, yes, from the world of the dead, I separate myself by the blood of Jesus from the world of the dead in the mighty name of Jesus Christ make sure you declare it, the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus I separate myself from the world of the dead in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I separate myself by the blood of Jesus from the world of the dead. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, from the world of the dead, I separate myself by the blood of Jesus. I separate myself from the world of the dead. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, please, Sister Jane Ari, this prayer is for you. Zekele Bragada Shagalaba. I separate you from the world of the dead by the blood of Jesus. I separate you from the world of the dead by the blood of Jesus. I separate you from the world of the dead in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be. And it is done. In Jesus' precious name, we have pray. You are going to pray. I wash myself away from the fan, from the evil foundation of untimely death. I wash myself away from evil foundation of untimely death. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I wash myself away from evil foundation of untimely death. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I wash myself away from evil foundation of untimely death. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I wash myself away from evil foundation of untimely death. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, leke bereke bragadalaba, ike de bragadushele bragadalaba, inkala brazuze fratigla bragad. 
the Abakasha. I wash myself away from evil foundation of untimely death in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. The Lord said we should make this declaration. You tree of death, that is T R W E, you tree of death planted in my family line. Catch fire. You see, this prayer will, set, will deliver you and your loved ones. You tree of death planted in my family line. You are a liar. Catch fire. Catch fire. You tree of death. T R W E. You tree of death in my family line. Catch fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I shall not die like a chicken. Zoko Boragata Baracata Baracatalaba, Ike de Bracata Bacamusco de Lucatalaba, Mashakala Baracata Bacatalaba, Eke de Macala Bacasco de Lucasco, Macatala Bracatalaba. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Let me just take like four more, then we'll go, we'll continue from where we stopped yesterday. Thou angel of war. Enter into the camp of my enemy. Let there be massive death in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You see, there are some enemies that must die for you to live. Until they die, you can't live. Until they leave this world, you can't live on earth. Until they leave this world, you can't live in the world. Until they L-E-A-V-E, -E, you can't L-I-V-E in the world. Until they leave this world, you can't live in this world. Until they leave this world, you can't live in this world. You are going to pray. Thou angel of war, enter into the camp of my enemies. Let there be every slaughter of death in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thou angel of war, enter into the camp of my enemy. Let there be mass, ma massive death in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Makala kura bagada braga in you are going to make this declaration. Let there be mass barrier in the camp of my enemies. Let there be mass barrier in the camp of my enemies. Let there be mass barrier in the camp of my enemies. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, make it a declaration. Let there be mass barrier in the camp of my enemy. In the precious name of Jesus Christ, you are going to make. You are going to take three more. You yoke of untimely death. You yoke of untimely death. I am not your victim. Scatter by thunder. You yoke of untimely death. I am not your victim. Scatter by thunder. Scatter by thunder. Scatter by thunder. I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice. Every yoke of untimely death. Scatter by thunder. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yoke of untimely death. Starter by thunder in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Every yoke of untimely death scatter by thunder, 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 scatter by thunder in the name of Jesus Christ. You are going to pray every form of accident of death. You see, in this December, devil has programmed accident of death for so many people. Every accident of death, myself, my loved ones, we are not a victim. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every form of accident of death, myself and my loved ones, we are not a victim. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every form of accident of death, myself and my loved ones, we are not a victim. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Egele Baraga da Kosogolo Braga da Gejagodo, Iqala Gade Gezugele Kruto Braga da Ba, Ikele Gade 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 Ikaya Basele Fratiza, Obile Zibraduske Braga da Kalukrata Braga Desha, Ikede Gorogo da Bosogolo Braga da Katala, Akwaka da Baka Shagada, Angreke Tege Dogo Zogura Bada Gada, Akle Braga da Gade Eska Braga da Flakata, in blessus of Braganda Shkla Vranda Gada Katayaba, in Kobolike de Braganda, every accident of death. I am not a victim. My loved ones are not a victim. We escape in Jesus' precious name. We have prayed. Two more, you are going to declare every sickness unto death. We are not your candidate in the name of Jesus Christ. Myself, my loved ones, 
We are not your candidates. Every sickness unto death, we are not your candidates. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. Igele bara so go man in gregede. Angala broko skundo bragadaba. Inkele gele gele bragadaba. Kakuloko skola grabadaka shkalaba. Inga nambro skole bragadaba. Inkanda bragadaba kakalaba katalaba. Makakato lukra bazegle bragatalaba. In Jesus name we have prayed. Finally, we are going to make this declaration. Every entrance door of death. Every entrance door of death. Closed by thunder in the name of Jesus Christ. Every entrance door of death. Closed by thunder. Closed by thunder. Closed by thunder. Every entrance door of death. Closed by thunder. Closed by thunder. Elikuma agarese gedea. Ambale penoso bogon okwala gadash. Ingrete sugele epagadasha. Agoro boko kodobo sogolo bregede. Inkono koto golo morogodo shogolo. Akrakata gada bagada gara. In Jesus precious name we have prayed. I close every entrance door of death against you. It shall not happen. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Yesterday, we stopped at the types of death. And we have mentioned instrument of death. We have mentioned the gate of death. We have mentioned the covenant of death. We have mentioned the shadow of death. We have mentioned the appointment with death. I'm sure. We have mentioned the snare of death. And we have mentioned the port of death. But there are some I have not mentioned. We are going to mention next tonight the sickness unto death. In the book of 2 Kings 20 verse 1. 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 Every arrow of sickness unto death fired against you, your loved ones. I return them back to the sender. In Kubara Gadash, 2 Kings 20, verse 1. 2 Kings 20, verse 1. And in those days was Ezekiah sick unto death. In those days, Ezekiah was sick unto death. Every arrow of sickness unto death. I am not your candidate. Return back to sender. Pray prayer. Every arrow of sickness unto death. I am, there are people who only had headache and they died. Some had only malaria. Some complained. You remember the story of that man in the that woman in the book of Second Kings chapter four. The Bible said the son started. My head, my head, my head, and the boy died. That who is a pastor, every arrow of sickness unto death. You escape, 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 you escape. Imene men rogodo mo rogodo mo rogodo baragadaba. Ikedle koto bo rogoto bo digede. I'm brought to sobo nok okele kuto. Im ragadaba shoko to bego alu sobo niya. Emene gono koto bo rogodo bo rogodo bo. In kala bakakala bakakala bak. In the book of 2 Kings chapter 4, let's start from verse 19. 2 Kings chapter 4, let's start from verse 18 to 20. 2 Kings 4, verse 18 to 20. We are talking about sickness unto death. 2 Kings 4, 18 to 20. Shagaba Kalaba. And he said unto his father, let's start from verse 18, verse 18. And the child was grown. That's the child that Ezekiel, Ezekiel, um, Elisha prophesied. And it fell on a day that he went out into to his father to the harvesters. Verse 19. 
every power that wants to attack your child at the point of your harvest, at the point of your breakthrough, that wants to turn your joy to sorrow, every power that wants to turn your joy to sorrow this December, they expire by thunder. In the name of Jesus Christ. And he said unto his father, my head, my head, and he said unto a lad, carry him to his father. A devil, a demon, fired an arrow into his head. He came like an edict. I see they eat him something on the head. You see, witchcraft manipulation has been on since. So it's not today. There is no sickness, no normal sickness kill this time. The boy said, my head, my head, my head. And they carried the lad to his mother. Verse 20. Shokome Kelia Basada. Verse 20, Reboko. And when they had taken him and brought him to his mother, he sat on an east till afternoon and he died. Somebody eat that boy something on the head. A devil eat him, eat him a stick on the head. Witch crack manipulation. You see, they have been barren. There was a witch that was monitoring the barrenness of that woman. Now the woman had only one child and the same household wickedness came and eat the boy on the head. I prophesy every witch or wizard that has made a vow that you will lose your loved ones this year, that you will lose your child this year, you will lose your son this year. I decree let them that in the name of Jesus Christ, they perish. They perish without remedy. Perish without remedy. Every devil that wants you to die before your time, they perish without remedy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. <coughs> that was sickness unto death. They will take the next one. This one is a serious matter. We have vexation unto death. This one is serious. Vexation unto death. You can see that in Judges 16 verse 16. Vexation unto death. Judges 16 verse 16. Every power that want to frustrate you to kill yourself. Ayaba. Everyone that want to vex you to kill yourself. You see, there is a way you can be oppressed, depressed. You feel like living this world. This is what the lie that did to Samson. That was, it was at this point that Samson revealed his secret of his power. The Bible says, and it came to pass that when she pressed him daily with her words and urged him and frustrated him, that's the word urging, so that his soul longed for death, verse unto death. Can I have another translation? He so verse unto death. That is, Samson was so tired that he felt like dying. There is a way your partner can frustrate you. You don't want to leave. In fact, you want to die. Every this prayer I want to pray now is a serious prayer. And she tormented him with a nagging. Aha, you can see now. Day after day, until he was sick to the point of death. <laughs> I want to pray this dangerous prayer. Every marriage that want to kill you. May God deliver you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Not just marriage, though. there are some evil friendships that want to kill you. She tormented him with a nagging day after day until he was sick. There is a way your spouse, it can be man or woman, you can frustrate your life. You'll be calling for death to come home. You don't want to live again, sir. You'll be praying for death. Death, come and take me away. If I go, kill me, let me go. She tormented him day after day with a nagging until he was sick to the point of death. You see, the next verse you will see was that Samson Kukuma said the secret of, her, of his power. He was tired. Okay, let me just tell you now so that I can be free. Every evil relationship that wants to take your life, may God separate you by thunder by fire, by brimstone, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. No evil relationship will take your life. Everyone that you are feeding, 
Who wants to finish you? Everyone you are helping, who wants to destroy you? Everyone you are you are raising, who wants to erase you? May God scatter their life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You know there are people you want to raise, they want to erase you. You want to help. They want to deform you. You are trying to inform them to help them, they want to deform you. You are trying to erase them, they want to erase you. Every evil man, every unfriendly friend that want to destroy you in the name of friendship, every Jonah in your boat, let the thunder of God scatter both of you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Please and please, friendship is not by force. I was praying for a sister last week. You, you, want, you need to see now, that's a relationship, not even marriage. Oh. This boy will beat and beat and beat. And she was telling me that actually she has prayed that that's the person that God has designed for her. That uh, devil is just being, devil is using, devil is trying to scatter their relationship. Right? I said, You are the biggest fool I've ever seen in my life. We have version of death, then we have the counsel unto death. Not all counsel are good counsels, sir. Some counsel are evil counsel. Every evil counselor giving you an evil advice that will kill you, kill your ministry, kill your business, kill your agenda in life, kill your purpose. May God separate both of you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Counsel unto death. We can, you can write down because of time I will not, I may not read. Judges chapter 16, Sorry, 2 Samuel chapter 16, verse 21 and verse 22. 2 Samuel chapter 16, verse 21 and 22. 2 Samuel chapter 17, verse 1. You will see how Ahithophel advised Absalom. And that evil advice was what killed Absalom. Absalom died anyhow because of an evil advice. Every evil, evil counselor, counseling with the counsel of death, May God shut their mouth and destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This one is very serious. We have what is called the sleep of death. The sleep of death. We will sleep of death. I prophesy to everyone that will type a loud amen. You shall not sleep the sleep of death. You shall not sleep the sleep of death. Type your amen seven times. I shall not. You shall not sleep the sleep of death. Or if you can type, I shall not sleep the sleep of death. Type it three times at least. I shall not sleep the sleep of death. We have what is called the sleep of death. And we see that in Psalm 13, verse 3. Psalm 13, verse number 3. Kakuria passe keria mosanda ilebo sine le bragalaba Psalm thirteen verse three bakua saka e bolobot ishli krata you shall not sleep the sleep of death I pray for that sister you shall not sleep it has happened to you twice there's a sister here you can signify if you are the one it has happened to you twice you see your, you saw your body leaving your you saw your spirit leaving your body two times it has happened to you. That is the sleep of death. I prophesy. May God deliver you from the sleep of death. I want to know that, sister. I want to pray for you. Two times you have seen your spirit coming out of your body in the night. That is the sleep of death. I want to pray for you. Zaka, you shall not sleep the sleep of death. You shall not sleep the sleep of death. You shall not sleep the sleep of death. In the precious name of Jesus Christ, you shall not sleep the sleep of death. You shall not sleep the sleep of death. Let me know if you are the one. Rabade, sir. You shall not sleep the sleep of death. You and your household, you shall not sleep the sleep of death. People sleep, they don't wake up. That is not a portion. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you shall not sleep the sleep of death. You shall not sleep the sleep of death. If you are the one, don't fight. It is I, it is I, or it is me. You shall not sleep the sleep of death. You shall not sleep the sleep of death. You shall not sleep the sleep of death. You are your loved ones. You are your well wishers. You shall not sleep the sleep of death. 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Only your enemy shall sleep the sleep of death. Ah, Ragada, I don't know why I'm dwelling on this. You shall not sleep the sleep of death. In 2022, you shall not sleep the sleep of death. For the rest of this year, you shall not sleep the sleep of death. Ikaba Ragadu Sogoba Ragadesha E Begindi Gazuzu Bregadesha Makeli Koto Bogodu Usoba Ragada You shall not sleep the sleep of death. In the belly and the Suze Bregadesha You shall not sleep the sleep of death. In Kada, the sleep of death is not your portion. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you and your loved ones, you shall not sleep the sleep of death. I come against the sleep of death. I saw many people attack with heart attack in their sleep. You shall not sleep the sleep of death. You shall not sleep the sleep of death. Hey! Thou sleep of death. You are not their portion this year. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, for the rest of 2022, you shall not sleep the sleep of death. The sleep of death shall be far away from you. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Also, we have what is called, this is a very serious one, the point of death. The point of death. Have you ever heard people say, I was at the point of death? Yes, 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 yes. yes. There are people who are at the point of death. You just, how do you know you are at the point of death? You are, you are just like a moving corpse. How do you know you feel so empty when you are walking? As if there is no life in you. At times, it's as if you you are you, you, you are you are you are, you are, you are getting to you are you are almost having a heart attack. I see you you are you are suffering from heart palpitation, heart palpitation. I see you are suffering from heart palpitation. I see your heart is beating very very fast. I see your heart is very beating very very fast. When you begin to experience that, you are almost at the brethren. You are almost at the point of death. And at that point, it's only God that can revive you because it means you are already a sacrifice in the kingdom. We are coming to that. That's the next point. The point after the point of death, you have the sacrifice of death. You can see that in the book of uh, Mark five twenty three. Mark five twenty three. Mark 523. I will let us read that one. Mark five twenty three. Mark five twenty three. Mark fashion three. Can, 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 can you can you go back to King James, please? King James. And he begged him earnestly, saying, My little daughter lies at the point of death. Is lying at the point of the come and lay your hands on that you will be healed and you are going to pray. Zakadabakatara. Say after me, say in the name of Jesus Christ, I refuse and my Lord wants to come to the point of death. None of us shall be at the point of death. In the mighty, you see, when you're at the point of death, you are just between life and death. You are just between life and death. You are just between life and death. Say after me, Zakabaka I refuse to be at the point of death. My loved ones, Zakabaka Kuria Makakatara, Ebero Soko Lobro Koto Bragadalaba, Ibarra Baga Kodo Bosoko da Bragadalaba, Maka Kodo Kokoloko Kosko de la Bragadalaba, Zeke de Broko Diama Shangana Bragadalaba, Zeke do Bragadalaba. I refuse. To be at the point of death. My loved one shall not be at the point of death. Everyone under the sound of my voice at the point of death. I command a revival in the name of Jesus Christ. This is very serious. The sacrifices of death, of the dead. Put it like that, the sacrifice of the dead. Now, these people, they will be seen dead body. Some people will be seen dead, dead relation, dead parents, dead grandfather, dead grandmother. They will even see themselves eating. Somebody called me to say, I saw myself eating with my great with my sorry, with my grandmother. I saw myself in the dream eating with my dead grandmother. You are already eating with the dead, my brother. You are almost dead. Though. Eating with the dead, the sacrifices of the dead. Psalm 106, verse 28. When you see yourself eating in the dream, it's very dangerous. You might be eating with the dead unknowingly to you. Psalm 106, verse 28. Every 
evil sacrifice you are eating of the dead that will kill your soul, kill your body. You escape in the mighty name of Jesus. Psalm 106, verse 28. I'm rounding off right now. I have just like two more points or something like that. Shagaraba gededle koroba katalaba. Every sacrifice of the dead. Psalm 106, verse 28. It says, and they joined themselves also unto bad people, and they ate the sacrifices of the dead. I decree every dead, every sacrifice of the dead that you have eaten before now, that is already counting your life backwards in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree they expire by fire. They expire by fire. They expire by fire in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Then we have what is called the messenger of death, or you call it the angel of death. The messenger of death. Proverbs 16, verse 14. Makakuria basenteriba. Every messenger of death. I am not your victim. Return to your sender. You see, when an abalist wants to kill somebody or a witch, they send the spirit or the messenger of death. You can see that in the book of Psalm. Sorry, Proverbs 16, verse 14. Proverbs 16, verse 14. Proverbs 16, verse 14. He said, the wrath of a king is as messenger of death. Kayama. The As messenger of death is the wrath of, of, is the king's wrath. But a wise man at least is. So there is what is called the messengers of death. You are going to declare, you messengers of death, me and my loved ones, you are not your victim. Return to your sender. Messenger of death, they are not your victim. Their loved ones are not your victim. Return to your sender. Me and my loved ones, we are not your victim. Messenger of death, return to your sender. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Messenger of death, messenger of death, messenger of death. We are not your victim. Return back to your sender in Jesus' precious name. Then we have this one, what is called angels of death. Angels of death. Angels of death. The angels of death, you can see that in the book of Exodus chapter number 12 verse 29. Exodus 12 verse 29. And it came to pass that at midnight, the Lord smote all the firstborn of the land, from the firstborn of Pharaoh and that sat on the, on the throne, to the firstborn of the captive that was in dungeon and the firstborn of the cattle. And the angel of uh, the angel, and it came to pass at the meantime that the Lord struck. And that translation said, The angel of the Lord struck all the firstborn. So there's what's called the angel of death. May the angel of death enter into the camp of your enemies in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Brethren, I am bringing you to very serious prayer right now. And you are just going to say it after me. You can type it if you can. You spirit of violent death. You know, there's what's called violent death. There are people, they, I've seen people, husband and wife, they had an accident, they died. The way they died was that the car caught fire and they burnt to ashes. So that means their death was gradual. They burnt to ashes. You violent death, I'm not a victim in the name of Jesus Christ. You violent death, I'm not a victim in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Number two, even covenant of death expire by the blood of Jesus. Even covenant of death expire by the blood of Jesus Christ. Evil covenant of death expire by the blood of Jesus Christ. Evil plan of death expire by the blood of Jesus Christ. There's what's called covenant of death. There's what's called the plan of death. Time will not permit me to explain them, so I'll just say it, and uh, we'll just take it like that. Every plan of death, so it means conspiracy that is going on to kill you, expire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
You dream of death. It's, that's what's called the dream of death. Many of you have been attacking your dream. You dream of death, expired by the blood of Jesus Christ. You dream of death, expired by the blood of Jesus Christ. You dream of death, expired by the blood of Jesus Christ. You visions of death expire by the Lord. What is vision of death? People are just giving you vision. You die, you die, you die, you die. If you don't pray very well, it will come to pass. You visions of death expire by the blood of Jesus Christ. You visions of death expire by the blood of Jesus Christ. You prophecy of death expire by the blood of Jesus Christ. You prophecy of death expire by the blood of Jesus Christ. You prophecy of death expire by the blood of Jesus Christ. That is very serious. You fear of death. That, you see, fear is powerful. You fear of death, inspired by the blood of Jesus Christ. This is very serious. You feelings of death. Some people just be feeling as if they want to die. They'll be feeling death around them. You feelings of death, inspired by the blood of Jesus Christ. You feelings of death, inspired by the blood of Jesus Christ. You feelings of death, inspired by the blood of Jesus Christ. This is very serious. You predictions of death, evil predictions of death, inspired by the blood of Jesus Christ. You evil predictions of death, inspired by the blood of Jesus Christ. You evil predictions of death, inspired by the blood of Jesus Christ. This is very serious. You smell of death. You see, you, also, you can come to your house and be get, as if something died in the house. There is no wrath, it's the spirit of death. You smell of death expired by the blood of Jesus Christ. You smell of death expired by the blood of Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. This is very serious. You expectations of death. Evil expectations of death expired by the blood of Jesus Christ. You evil expectations of death expired by the blood of Jesus Christ. This is very serious. You evil death. Date, the date, 25, 15, like the man of God said, somebody was appointed to die on the 15th of uh, of this month, according to Dr. Abrahamosis. You evil date of death, expired by the blood of Jesus Christ. You evil date of death, expired by the blood of Jesus Christ. You evil calendar of death, expired by the blood of Jesus Christ. You evil calendar of death, expired by the blood of Jesus Christ. You evil accident that can lead to death, expired by the blood of Jesus Christ. You evil accident that can lead to death, expired by the blood of Jesus Christ. This is very serious. You evil voice of death, calling my name, expired by the blood of Jesus Christ. You evil voice of death. You see, there are voices. You'll just be hearing people. you be hearing people calling your name. Yeah, nobody's calling you. It's the voice of death. You evil voice of death, calling your name, expired by calling my name, expired by the blood of Jesus Christ. This is very serious. You event of death. You see, some people, they will die when they go for burial. They will die when they go for naming. Every event you attend, that you will not come back alive. You shall not attend in the name of Jesus Christ. You event of death, I escape you by the blood of Jesus Christ. You event of death, I escape you by the blood of Jesus Christ. Witchcraft attack of death, I escape you by the blood of Jesus Christ. Witchcraft attack of death, I escape you by the blood of Jesus Christ. Marine attack of death. I escape you by the blood of Jesus Christ. You label of death. Expire by the blood of Jesus Christ. You evil label of death. Label, label. You know when you put label on, on, on the product. Label of bread. Label of the people that have been labeled death. You evil label of death. Expire by the blood of Jesus Christ. This is very serious now. You evil stigma of death expired by the blood of Jesus Christ. You evil mark labor stigma. You evil mark of death expired by the blood of Jesus Christ. You evil mark of death expired by the blood of Jesus Christ. You evil symbol of death, symbol, symbol, symbol of death upon me and my loved ones expired by the blood of Jesus Christ. You evil death certificate, catch fire in the name of Jesus Christ. You evil death certificate, catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God said we should talk about play of death. People play ball and they die. People play this uh, game, they die. Every play or game of death, you escape in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
God said, this is very serious. You evil transfer of death, you know, somebody supposed to die, they do transfer. You evil transfer of death, return back to the sender. You evil transfer of death, return back to the sender. You mortuary spirit, return back to the sender. There are too many, we can't finish all. Okay, let's quickly take these five. They are almost the same, so we'll just take the five together because of we can't finish everything. Aha. Uh -huh. You wrote accident, I escape you in the name of Jesus Christ. You wrote accident, I escape you in the name of Jesus Christ. You wrote accident, I escape you in the name of Jesus Christ. You air, 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 maybe by helicopter, by plane. You air accident, I escape you in the name of Jesus Christ. You water accident, I escape you in the name of Jesus Christ. You water accident, I escape you in the name of Jesus Christ. You fire accident, I escape you in the name of Jesus Christ. You fire accident, I escape you in the name of Jesus Christ. You domestic accident, I escape you in the name of Jesus Christ. You domestic accident, I escape you in the name of Jesus Christ. You spiritual accident, I escape you in the name of Jesus Christ. You spiritual accident, I escape you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm going to stop here because of time, because I know other men of God are waiting. Um, apart from what I've declared now, I have 52 prayer points, but we, we can't take everything, we can't take that now. So, but maybe some other time, or I will also send it to the man of God. We have 52 prayer points against sudden death. They are judgmental prayers. But I think we'll pray some of them in our church tomorrow. So I prophesy. Every form of death they are planning against you. We have talked about more than 20 forms of death that they are planning against you. You escape them in the precious name of Jesus Christ. I want to appreciate man of God, but just before we, I, 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 I stop here now, I want to appeal to the set man. I'm sorry, but I, I must say uh, what I saw. Um, um I, I saw more than 15 people watching right now. In fact, almost 20 persons. It is either you or someone close to you has been laid because I saw altars laid, altars of sacrifice, and I saw people laid on that altar. So if it is not you, it might be someone close to you. And the Holy Spirit is mean now. Yesterday, I didn't tell you that the Lord said we should sow a seed. I just said we should sow a seed. But this one, I think the Lord is saying it, and I heard it. And that's why I'm saying it now. The Lord wants us to lay a sacrifice against sacrifice. Now, the sacrifice I'm going to give tonight cannot buy a coffee. But the Lord will reduce it to redeem your soul. He said, my soul has been redeemed or ransomed from the grave. I saw, I saw altars in the witchcraft coven, and I saw people on that altar. I saw people on that altar, deep people on that altar, more than 20 altars I'm seeing. While we were praying, I, I saw them. And now, please, it is not by force, it's by choice now. But the Lord wants us to give a seed to redeem. You see, we are redeemed, of course, by the blood of Jesus, but of course, Abraham had to give a ransom by killing an animal before he can get Isaac from that altar. So he had to sacrifice another animal on that altar. I prophesy you know you lose your loved ones. This time last year, a family came for prayer. I have known them for years. And, uh, you know, I told them, go and lay a sacrifice. While they were dragging, the young man died. So I don't know the 20 persons you might be among, you might not be among. But we are going to lay a heavy a sacrifice tonight, a heavy sacrifice, to say... Me and my loved one, we have escaped every altar of evil sacrifice of death. Either we pray or we don't pray. There are people that will die before the end of this year. But you and your loved ones, you have escaped. But we are going to lay a sacrifice. Like That's why I have to apologize to the man of God because I know you wonder how we took sacrifice yesterday. Now, why are we taking that one today? Yesterday was my thought. Today, God commanded it and we are going to do it. I want everyone under the sound of my voice to please obey this simple instruction. 
Please, man of God, with um, every due respect, I want you to replace your account number on that platform. On this platform, sorry. And we are going to lay a sacrifice of I shall not die on the altar of the enemies. Not just for you, this will cover for you, for your loved ones. For Abraham had to lay a sacrifice of an animal before he could pick up his son. The altar has already been prepared in the coven. I'm telling you the truth of the matter. There are some of you here, you have been having the feelings of death. You have been hearing the voice of death, the echoes of death. You will sleep, it's as if you are empty. You wake up in the morning, you can't lose, it takes you time for you to stand. You can't just wake up and you can't just wake up and rise from your bed. It will take you some time. It is the spirit of death. Please obey this simple. I want everyone under the sound of my voice to obey this simple instruction. Obey this simple instruction that the Lord has commanded. I'm going to do the same thing. Everybody, make sure you obey it. I, I, yesterday, I said it because I felt it's necessary. But today, I saw people in in loads on the altars. Lekua Rakashaga. You see, at the end of it, we are going to make a declaration. Everybody, be part of it. Ziggy Digelekedesh. Makrata, you won't back off in this year. You katayaba. You won't pay any obituary, and nobody will pay your own obituary. You escape that. Ziku Keli Gedesh. I pray before I came for this meeting. I waited on the Lord, and so in this meeting, I trusted God for his voice and his speaking. Zukabara bikeni izunde in la brosogla afrata shagaba akakwataba egregede ni lusaba when you have done your efforts to know once we just see a few people have done it we will just pray we will pray we will pray that altar you are some people are, you are getting up from that altar some of you are going to dream tonight in your dream you will see yourself escape the angel of God is going to take you the same way Lot escaped. You know, the angel of God took Lot by hand and escaped the land of destruction. You are going to escape that altar of destruction. That covenant, I am seeing it again. The picture just came back again. The vision just came back. I saw people on different altar for slaughter. Altar for slaughter. It is the altar of slaughter for 2022. You see, the devil will be visiting the world very soon. I will be sharing that in our church tomorrow. The devil is visiting the world. He, he comes three times in a year. This is the last one for the year. For the year, and he's going to arrive on the twenty seventh. They need to welcome me with loads of blood, but not your blood. You see, the theme of this program is not my head, not my blood. But this is what I am seeing, brethren. Don't take it for granted. I am seeing which I am seeing. I am seeing the coven of darkness with cutlasses, with knives, demonic knives, and I, as, I can see people's eyes tied on evil altars, ready for slaughter. Blood are going to be shed like we have never seen before. Zika Raboshagaba, Rakwadaya, people will be in their house, and the house will collapse on them, just for the few days of this year. I'm not cursing nobody. It has been programmed in the spirit realm. And since nobody, not everybody can pray, and not everybody can make sacrifice to redeem what has been written. It's been written, you know, the Bible said, when a debt has been written, I will give a ransom. Once you have done it, let us know that you have done it. And once we see one or two, we'll just go ahead and pray. You are not permitted to die like a chicken. You shall see beyond 2022. You are you will mark you to see beyond 2022. Bragadasha the man of God. Go zigele e pana agla frete dish. In kogodo o zugele e mbraga dalaba la braga dalaba. E kede gele braga dama shagala akoto begede. Amen. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Now, um, let me quickly say this. Um, 
on Sunday, we are going to be having our communion service. It's not my blood. That's the theme for Sunday, not my blood. Man of God, before you said whatever you said, I've already written it down here. The Lord showed me a revelation while you were ministry. I saw it was a clear vision. Before you said you saw altars and altars and all that. I saw burials already done in witchcraft covens. Burials already done. So there are people that the instrument of death, that is, they'll just be on their way, maybe traveling to the village or driving even in their town, and things will be happening. I saw it so clear. Now, you see, it's, it's, when I hear about sacrifice, I, even yesterday, I gave my own. I don't know how people see it, but do you know, man of God, when the other world, anything the Baba gives to them, if it's not working, they go back to the Baba. They make sure they keep check with the Baba. So I wonder why, because you know, anytime I've noticed this, anytime you people hear about giving, the, oh, pastors have come again, oh, you just put the message, oh, you have not even asked for a seed, oh, you have not asked for that. You have, my brothers, my sister, please, please, with due respect, if you are not led, don't do it. But if you are led, be willing to do it. Now, that's number one. Number two, man of God, every prayer point you raised, the Lord gave me a conclusion to all of them. And he said, I should tell everybody. Now, without a discerning spirit, without a discerning spirit, these prayers are just going to be in vain. Why did I say so? Why is the man of God bringing all his prayer points? So that you can be watchful and pray prayerful. That's the reason. Jesus knew that he was going to die. What did he do, sir? He went into prayer. That's right. He went into prayer. So most of us, we don't even know. That's why I call it untimely death, unexpected death, sudden death. In the witchcraft covenant, God told me years ago, there is nothing like sudden death. It is prepared death, planned death, projected death. They know you are the one that don't know. So we need to be careful. Man of God, because of our time, you are going to make declarations and pray. And I round up because the truth of this issue is this like you said, some people must still die. But by the mercy of God, no one watching here will die in the name of Jesus. No one watching now will die in the name of Jesus. Either Amen. you give or you don't give. But I tell you, you may not know the one God is going to use to rescue you. I'm telling you. There are things your voice cannot do, but your sacrifice can do. That's what the man of God means. So please and please obey. Obedience is better than the sacrifice you even think of. Hallelujah. I pray may God give you a discerning spirit to know when to pray and when to to wait. There are some of us, we don't have a discerning spirit. But we talk about sacrifice. It's not because one have needs. Even though I have needs, I know who to call. I know how to get my needs met. Not to come online. So, man of God, I just need to just correct that. I want you to just bless everybody so that we can round up and go. Because on Sunday, we're going to have a communion service. Get your wine ready. Get your bread ready. 
that service is not my blood. That is that service. I heard God so clear. He said, not your blood. Because what is going to happen this December, I'm telling you, I also, I, the team of this group, the, 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 the seven nights of December without disaster, not my head, not my blood. Let me tell you, blood must flow December. And the blood that must flow is not the blood of chicken. It's humans. Humans. But not your blood. Not your head. Over to you, man of God. So we can round up. Some. Okay. Thank you, man of God, for that. But that's fine, you know. Uh, um, we don't need to beg anybody to... <laughs> Glory be to God. All right. In the name of Jesus Christ. La kosha gadi eno so pregedesh. Aquale selo so bani amana selento. Vradish klo kwakande e kalusko brag e katodo. Maminan de zom brotu le apratusko bregedesh. Akaye kotu ge egeme e komana. La tuarasha ga bretezi suzi. Lo fratish kaba. Father, for everyone under the sound of my voice, including you, including your loved ones, you escape what looks like death and any form of death this year, 2022, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Every instrument of death, car instrument, every form of instrument of death that the enemy is planning to use against you, shall not walk against you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I release the hand of God as they wander from nation to nation and from one kingdom to another. He suffer no man to do them wrong. Yea, he reprove kings for their sake. Say, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. Every agenda of the wicked, Rabbi Ekumo, Ombile Suzeke Lekete Brogodosha, and Guada Akede Egedo Osogodo, or Prata Damala Apele Ekogo, and Groshogo Okwala Akabigade, and Reno Uswambo Okali Ezuze, in Gregede Ashkolokre Akadaba, Akado Oskodobra, you escape, you escape, you escape, you escape, sudden death, untimely death, in the name of Jesus Christ. When I see the blood, I will pass over. We mark you with the blood of Jesus. You and the angel messenger, every form of death, pass you over. In Jesus' precious name, we have prophesied. Amen and amen. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I believe that testimonies are going to be coming up, and I will. Make sure I let you know all the Lord has done through your administration. And those power, prayer points are powerful. So powerful, so powerful. I think I, I will keep watching this broadcast yesterday and today because it's a manual for escape. It's a manual for escape. I celebrate you, Dr. Abraham Moses. Uh, Dr. Abraham Moses. I celebrate you, Pastor Emmanuel Johnson. Also, thank you so much. Dr. Manager Joseph, thank you so much. God bless you all. I want to especially appreciate everyone that has been from day one till this day. I decree your sacrifice, your sacrifice of prayer will not go in vain. I pray for everyone Amen. that has raised a sacrifice, everyone that has given an offering. I decree it is acceptable. I decree Amen. it is acceptable. And I decree every mark upon your children for affliction, that mark is wiped off by the blood of Jesus. I pray for Amen. everyone that is going through financial struggles, everyone trusting God for financial connections. May God connect you to those that matter in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray Amen. God that release opportunities your way this Amen. day of December which is the last first seven days meeting I decree you will not regret this month Amen. I decree you will not regret this month Amen 
Your child will not be missing. I don't know who this is. The Lord said, I should pray against missing child for this month. Your child will not be missing. You are preserved. God Amen. will defend you behind you. In Amen. Jesus' Amen. name we pray. I decree it's not Amen. your head, it's not your blood. Thank you so Amen. much, Dr. Father Johnson. Thank you. It's good to have you. We wish to have you again and again. You know I will always call on you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. I love you, sir. Thank you, sir. Hallelujah. You can now go, sir. Thank you, sir. God bless you, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for all your sacrifice, for all your givings. I want to say it is well appreciated. Please don't fail to let us know if there's anything you wish we should can improve on. And sec lastly, I mean to say, I have only this number I use for ministry. I've noticed a lot of people, you can copy this number down. This is my phone number on the screen. My number is plus 234-8069-190979. I'm very accessible to be called upon. Hallelujah. So make sure this is the only, I don't have a PA. It's an online broker, so I don't think I need a PA. Hallelujah. So I don't have a PA. Make sure if God is leading you to do anything or to ask any question or you want us to pray with you, make sure this is the number for you to call. And I'll be glad to receive your call. Thank you so much. I want to say congratulations to everybody that has escaped from the clause of death. Your child will not die. You will not die. No one connected to you will die. It is well with you. Stay safe. Stay preserved. Not your head. Not your blood. Thank you so much. Please like and follow this page. The Lord will bless you. And click the notification button to know when I am up online. Thank you so much. I love you all. You know that. I decree your offerings are blessed. Your seeds are blessed. And every last seven days, you know, is a covenant day that we give. Is a covenant day we give every last seven day. We are saying, Father, thank you for the seven days. Father, we thank you that this month we walk. We activate it with a sacrifice. So go ahead and do that. The Lord bless you. Thank you so much. I love you all. Shalom. Let's share the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and about us now and forevermore. Amen. God bless you. See you on Sunday in the cool of the evening. See you there. Shalom.